Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I've got the second video in my 74 LS calculator series. In this one, I'll be talking about this little board right here, the B-Line Inverter. In the last video, I showed off the design schematic and I talked about the design goals I had for my final calculator. And I also showed off the 8-bit full adder I had assembled on the breadboard. Uh, by now, the breadboard has been emptied and I have disassembled that, but that's because I've made further progress on assembling the new calculator. You can see some of these red boards are a result of that. This video, I'm going to be talking all about the Beeline Inverter, which is a component of the calculator. Originally, I wanted the second video to be the final calculator when it was done, and I did promise that I would go into detail about all the different boards and systems that are put together to make the calculator work, but I thought I'd do that leading up to the calculator being done, which is what this video is. But before I talk about the whole Beeline Inverter, I gotta talk about something interesting you can do with a plain old XOR gate. So this is an XOR gate. Simply put, the output is high when either A or B are high, but not both and not neither. Now an XOR gate is used for a lot of different things, but one particular thing you could do with it is essentially turn it into a programmable inverter. Let me explain. So we could call this the input, this the output, and this the invert signal. Follow along with the truth table if you want to. So if we change this to a 1, then this is a 1. And of course I just showed when it was a 0, this was a 0. Now that is both true when this is a zero. Now let's say we make this a one. Let's make our invert line high. Well now this is zero. This is exactly inverse of this. And of course, we can flip this bit to zero and it'll invert that to a one. So by utilizing this line here, we can basically make a programmable inverter. And that's what the B-line inverter does except it does it on a times eight scale because it's used to invert an entire eight bit wide data bus. So here's the B-line inverter in action. These pink LEDs are just for power indication. This board right here is a display board and it's basically just LEDs. This one is my control board and I'm only using one of the two sets of dip switches. These two and the B-line inverter will be in their own spot in the final product, but for now I'm just using them for demonstration. So right now on the input, I'm putting in four zeros and four ones. And right now I'm getting out four zeros and four ones. This LED right here is not being used. This button is what toggles the inverse line over here, high and low. So right now it's low, but I'm gonna tie it high and the output should flip, and it does. So the four zeros have become four ones and the four ones have become four zeros. Here I could put something in more complicated than this, such as this fun looking pattern. And I can flip the bits with just one control line. So that's gonna be it for this video about the B-Line inverter. Hope you found it interesting and maybe you might be able to use this property of an XOR gate in your own project. Thanks for watching.